All right, so today we're going to do fraction estimation with number sense. So we're going to be looking at these problems, not actually solving them, but seeing if they make sense. Chris solved two-thirds plus one-half and got three-fifths. Sam said, I think your answer is wrong. How can Sam prove this? So the first thing we're going to do is write down our number model, which here is two-thirds plus one-half equals three-fifths. So what I want to do is kind of look at these numbers and see, does this make sense? So I'm going to draw two circles here. And I'm going to also draw a circle for my answer. Okay. All right. I'm going to shade in two thirds. So one, two, three. And I'm going to pick a different color here. And I'll shade in here's one third. And here's two thirds. And now I'm going to do it the same thing for this one. Here is one half. And I'm going to shade that in. And finally, I'm going to do my answer, which is three fifths. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and shade that in. And so now I'm going to look at these fraction circles here and see if this makes sense. So right here, I've got one half, and I can look two thirds is even bigger than one half. So really, I have something that's a half plus another half. Well, we know a half plus a half equals one full whole. But when I look at my answer, this is much smaller than a whole. So this does not make sense. This cannot um, equal three fifths because I have something that's more than one half right here plus one half that equals something that's even less than one whole. So this does not make sense. All right, moving on to the next problem. So a conjecture. This is what we are kind of doing as we do these problems. A conjecture is a prediction based on math. So what we're doing here is not actually solving the problems, but looking at them and kind of making a prediction based on the math that we already know. All right, so for our next problem, Tierra calculated 5 twelfths minus 1 tenth and said that the difference was 5 tenths. Does Tierra's answer make sense? All right, so let's write our number model so we can see what we're working with. We have 5 twelfths minus 1 tenth equals 5 tenths. So what I already know, what I'm going to look at, 5 tenths, guys, that equals 1 half, right? I have 5 pieces out of 10. That's a fraction I know that also equals 1 half. When I go to look at this one right here, this fraction, 5 twelfths, this is less than half. So if I start with something that is less than half, and then I take away something even more, could I equal a half, something that's even bigger than what I really even started with? And I'm gonna say no, this does not make sense. I'm starting with something smaller than a half, which is right here, then I'm taking away a piece even more, but my answer is equal to something that's larger than what I actually started with. So this does not make sense. Martin lives five sixths mile from school. Maria lives one twelfth of a mile farther away from school than Martin. Maria said, I live three fourths of a mile from school. Does Maria's statement make sense? Okay, so we're gonna write down our number model here again. So we have Martin, who lives five sixths of a mile from school. And then Maria said, I live one twelfth of a mile further than you. So we've gotta add on one twelfth of a mile. And then overall, Maria said, I live three fourths of a mile from school. 
So now our question is, does this make sense? Okay, so again, if you want, we can draw some fraction pieces. Okay, just to kind of show, I'm gonna draw maybe a picture here of five sixths and then three fourths. So five sixths, I'm gonna put three on top, three on the bottom, and then I'm gonna shade that five of them. So one, two, three, four, five. So when we're looking at this fraction right here, which is five sixths, we can see that it is almost full. We're almost at one whole. And then here, we're gonna do three fourths. Okay, so I'm gonna shade in. One, two, and three. And when I'm looking at this fraction here, what I have left over is larger than what I have left over over here, okay? So I have five sixths, which is almost full, it's almost one whole, plus something that's even more, okay? I know one twelfth, that's really, really small, but I'm still adding on something even more to get closer to my full whole, and then my answer has a bigger piece missing than when I even started. Okay, so this, again, does not make sense. All right, and one last one. Jason had a bean plant that measured 7 eighths of an inch tall. A beetle nibbled 1 16th inch off the top. Jason said, now my bean plant is only 6 8 inches tall. Does Jason's conclusion make sense? So the first thing I need to do again is write down my number model. Okay, so he started with seven eighths of an inch and then a beetle ate some of it. Beetle nibbled one sixteenth of, off the top. So that means we're getting smaller. If he took some away, one sixteenth off the top. And now he says my bean plant's only six eighths. Does this make sense? Okay, well, the first thing I notice here is I have seven eighths and six eighths. Okay, they have the same denominator. So I know that seven eighths minus, I'm gonna say one eighth equals six eighths. That's a problem that we actually know that we can do. Seven eighths minus one eighth equals six eighths. So now I need to decide is one sixteenth the same as one eighth. So if I were to draw a, a circle here, I'm gonna draw two of them, okay? And here, if we were to draw eighths, I'm gonna put four down here. I'm gonna draw the same thing over here so that they match. So I have eight on each. If I'm, I'm gonna go in and make sixteenths here. I'm gonna cut these even further. And, let's see here. I know that looks kinda crazy. And here. And then here, I'm gonna shade in one sixteenth. And then here is one eighth. So when I'm looking at it, those are not the same. They are not the same size. And I know that that's a pretty shaky drawing here, but looking at them, you've got something that's really small, and then you have a piece that's a much bigger. So even though we are still subtracting and we're going in the right direction, 1 eighth is not the same size as 1 16th. So we're gonna say that this does not make sense. All right, so here's your lesson practice problem. You're looking at these problems, one, two, and three, and saying, do they make sense? Okay, so make sure that you write down the problem, the whole thing, and say yes or no, do they make sense?